Okay, so you know I absolutely love doing these forecasts and I like to give one away each month because then you can see what it's like or a big chunk of one because, you know, there are some things that only come when you actually join the Cheecast team. So who am I giving away this month for October? Well, I'm going to give you the forecast for Gung Daymaster. So if you are a Yang Metal Daymaster, I've pulled a chunk of your reading, not all of it, onto this video so you can see what a chi cast is like because once you try it trust me you'll wonder how you ever got along without your own personal sam and your personal chi cast so let's get to it let's see what's happening for gun day masters this october Okay, it's October month, and I know you're thinking of pumpkin spice latte, but there's more we need to talk about. This month is something called Gung Shu. Gung Shu is Yang Metal Dog. That's all it means, just markers of time, right? However, this one is interesting. It's a little bit of a bully month. I do expect we're going to see some heavy interactions in the stock markets, and we're still going to see some bullying in some of the fighting that we've got worldwide. So it's not a smooth move in that respect. It's a bit tough. It's a bit like a dog with a bone. Um, there is a little bit of deception afoot. So do be careful. Use your smarts to reveal what's really going on in a situation. Okay. Use your head. Do not be a bully. This is one of those times where the heavy hit isn't going to win over the soft smarts. So don't say I didn't warn you. It's a radically changing month. Okay. Radically changing. Um, all year we've seen a pivot. We've, we've seen the tiger take us in different directions. And now the dog comes in for the month. There is some stability, but it's hard. Okay. And uh, it's just, I think you're going to feel that where we felt an internal side in September. And there was a lot of, um, I'm going to say some victim feeling out there. There was a lot of, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening to me. That's going to step away a little bit. But now the dog comes in and he doesn't actually make it any easier. So know that you need to... Um, Approach the month carefully. I would say safeguard your assets. No, I'm not a financial advisor, but I just feel that's coming. So be, be aware of where your money is. And <clears throat> quite frankly, we actually need to dive into the details of what this October dog month really means. So let's have a look at that. All right. What are your three words for October, Gun Day Master? They are confident, clan, unconventional. Right. Let's open that up. So the first one, confident. Oh boy, you're going to feel this. You're going to feel quite the surge of confidence, a very strong sense actually of who you are and how you wish to walk. It's your time to strut your stuff. Even though we're not in rooster month, where I often joke about strutting, um, we are dog month, but this is a very, brings a lot of power forward to you and a lot of confidence be careful with that, okay? Because it can topple a person if it gets too strong. Keep that ego in check. I know you want to be independent, but don't cut your nose off to spite your face, okay? This is where, so this, this particular dog month brings so many strong things forward to you that normally we would, I would just say, oh, this is just wonderful, but it's almost too much. So you have to watch this all month and be aware of your presence, uh, be aware that you don't become a bully because you don't, I'm not, not because you're a mean person. I don't mean that, but there's so much strength coming to you. It might come across as a bullying nature to other people. So do watch that, please. All right. You may fall into battle a little bit easy. And it's to do with the fact that the month is um, Gung Shu and you are Gung Day Master. So two guns, two metals, and these are strong metals. So they're going to clash. We call it cross sard Cross sword shah. Sorry, I couldn't say that well. Cross sword shah can often mean arguing, fighting, battle. So be aware that you could be drawn into it and it could be someone else's battle. Stay out of it. Um, it might be a battle that you create because you're standing very strong on something and you soften up, please, and just back off. It will be much better for you. So not your best way forward to, to create a battle. Be mindful of the words you use. So all this metal that's out there right now, it's attached to the voice a little bit. Bit of a dog has a bit of a bark, you know, more bark than they have bite. Well, for this month, the bark and the bite happen. So be careful of your voice and just be mindful of the words that you use. 
Can you caress someone rather than cut them down to size? Yes, you can. Just hit the pause button. They might they might legitimately be completely peeing you off. They might legitimately deserve to be yelled at. Really, I mean, don't do it because none of us like it when it happens to us and we all make mistakes, all right? And we're all tired. This has been quite the year. So watch those words. Um, there is a big desire to connect with people and that's partly the month of the dog. It brings a lot of earth forward and earth is always connective. It's always teamwork. You probably want to build a bit of a clan, a following, a network, co-create, all good. Whichever one appeals or if all of them appeal, go for it. You can do this this month for sure. Uh, be mindful, though, of comparing your self-worth to others or to physical things. So what I mean by that is be careful that you don't look around and think, well, I don't have that, so I'm not as good as that person. I don't have that. I'm not as good as that person. Things that we have don't mean anything. Some people have more money. There's always someone that's going to have more money than you. There's always someone that's going to have less money than you. So things don't actually matter. What's in here matters. What's in here matters. So your actions matter. And your self-worth is what you think of yourself, not what somebody else thinks of you. Big, important one this month. I want you to embrace the unconventional side of things um, because the true strength is there. So you might normally be um, looking at things for the factual, the grid system, the you know information, the knowledge. Well, step outside your comfort zone and look at unconventional things. You have this really strong ability this month to understand complex data. But the reason I've asked you to step outside of the normal realm is because if you layer in an intuitive, almost spiritual sense to things, you will really fly through that data and you will really understand a problem that comes up that's really difficult. And other people will just be saying, well, okay, this is the problem and these are the facts. And oh my God, I can't figure out why that went wrong. If you apply a different layer of thinking to it, you will actually burst through that problem like no one's business. And it'll be really cool to see and very helpful to other people. Now, thinking of spiritual, you may actually travel to a spiritual place or find yourself drawn to spiritual places. Now, they can actually be churches, graveyards, uh, museums. Um, spiritual isn't just People think it's religious. It's actually nothing to do with religious, but it's always attached to that. If you find yourself drawn to a different place than where you would normally go, go there. There's a reason you're being drawn to it. It's good for you. But while you do that, I do have one little funny note I just saw that I made for you is be careful about your belongings this month. I think you might lose some things. You might misplace your keys. Somebody might take them. Um, you know, you might misplace your credit card. Somebody might get your credit card. Just be aware of your belongings so that you know where they are so nobody else has them, right? It's actually quite simple. Now, if you're a woman, it's about your sisters, uh, friends, co-workers, mum and husband. Pretty much everyone when you think of that. Um, if it's um, if you're a man, it's about your brothers, friends and co-workers. So that's a lot of people, but that's the kind of month that it is. It's the dog month of October. Now, your three words to, to keep in mind this month are confident, clan, and unconventional. Now, hop on over and get your um, DNA days because there's two in there that I pulled out that are quite different. And you'll probably be surprised when you hear them. Now, you, you know, you've got everything you need to approach October with awareness and with purpose. So basically, Get out there and do your thing and I'll see you in November.